printing is all about layering uh, the different colours and it's the beautiful thing about screen print is that you can build up layers upon layers upon layers and colours, the colour overlay, just exploring the beautiful crossover of colour. Ink is pushed through a screen and um, we use a stencil then for blocking it and masking. If I was to put a transparency on it for this image to come, I'll have to cover, coat the whole screen with photo light sensitive emulsion and let it dry and put my transparency on it to expose it. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to coat the screen with the photo stencil emulsion to mask out the whole area first. So I'm going to go into the dark room because it's light sensitive. So I have here is a uh, photo sensitive emulsion in the dark room and I'm going to put it into the scoop coater, tilt it here at the end of the screen and when it's all just touching the, the mesh, we are then going to give it a firm, consistent pull. Nice thin film. I'm also going to coat the other side as well. Flip it around. And the same on this side. We're going to put this into the drying cupboard for about 40, 45 minutes to an hour and let it dry. And it has to be fully dry before we expose our transparent stand. Once my, my screen is dried, I place my transparency, the image I want to print, down on the exposure table. And then I get my screen and I place it on top of my image and expose it to our UV light. So I'm going to prepare this up to 75, 80, because I want to retain the subtleties in the image. So I have here the transparency, the image that I want to print, and I have washed it out, and it's come out really well on the, the screen here. We're going to coat the screen with some ink and uh, flood it, and um, proof this image and see how it looks. Dip the squeegee into the ink and lift and flood. And then we're going to pull the squeegee across the image. Nice firm pressure and lift and see how my image has turned out as a proof. So I can see it here, it's, um, it's working lovely. So if I want to see how this image would take with two pulls, I'm going to repeat it. Again, lift, flood, and pull. And then I will just coat the image to stop it drying. And I leave that up there. So yeah, I'm quite happy with this here. It seems to have a little bit more opacity in it. And uh, I'm gonna try this now on some pre-printed paper that I uh, have in other colours. So I've printed on this paper here that I've already got uh, under colours underneath it and I can see that this is uh, really working well with the greens and I'm quite happy with that, not with the blue. So I'm going to go for this. This is at my proof where I'm studying and seeing what colour will be best to use with this print. Process to me is, I mean, I'm very process orientated. I love gathering all the imagery and the layering, and the transparencies, and just seeing how they work and the structure. It helps me with the structure of a print and it's just accumulating that together. And then finally, it is the print that, you know, you're surprised by it because it is, there's so much, it's so technical and it's so, it's such a, it's a, a lot of method in, print practice so you're preparing a lot so finally when you make the print the print can be just a couple of seconds uh, but I actually enjoy the process I really enjoy the process more than anything else